Hi kids! Today we are going to use our addition skills to learn more about place value. We will use place value to help us solve our story problems. Let's take a look over here and see what problems we have to solve. There are two classes in the second grade. Mrs. Jenkins' class has 32 students and Mr. Smith's class has 27 students. We need to find out how many students are in the second grade. What do I need to do to find out how many students there are in all? We need to add these numbers together. So we are going to add 32 plus 27. We have double digit numbers here and a really cool way to add these together is to use our knowledge of place value. Let's set up these numbers differently so we can see the place value for each number. Now to make sure we have the numbers in the correct spot, let's look at each number. If we look at the 32, we can see that the 3 is in the 10's place and the 2 is in the 1's place. Looking at the 27, we can see that the 2 is in the 10's place and the 7 is in the 1's place. So do we have them lined up correctly? Great! We do have them lined up correctly. And now we can use some base 10 blocks to help us add them together. So to get 32, we need 10, 20, 30. Now, I have the 3 in the 10's place, but I still need the blocks for the 1's place, so I need 2 of the 1's blocks. Now on to the 27. We need to get 27 blocks, and we need to start in the 10's place. So here is 10, 20. Now in the 1's place, I need 7 of the 1's blocks, so I get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We can now add these two groups together, but to do this, we need to be careful and stay within our place values. This means that we should not add the 10's blocks with the 1's blocks. So we are going to join all our 10's place together, and then we will join all of our 1's place together. Now that they are joined together, or added together, we can now start counting them. Let's count the 1's first. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now let's count the 10's we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So as we can see here, we have 9 ones and 5 tens. If you look at the math problem over here, you will see that 2 plus 7 is 9, and 3 plus 2 is 5. Isn't that really cool? Now let's look at a different problem. In this problem, we have 47 plus 29. Let's represent these numbers using our base 10 blocks. To get 47, how many tens blocks do we need? How many ones blocks do we need? If you said four tens and seven ones, you are correct. We need four tens blocks and seven ones blocks. Now to represent the number 29. How many tens blocks do we need? How many ones blocks? We need two tens blocks and nine ones blocks. Now we do the same as before and put all of our tens together and all of our ones together. Let's start by adding our 1's together. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now we need to stop here and remember what we learned about regrouping. We now have 10 1's, which is the same as one of our 10 blocks. We need to trade these in for a 10's block. Remember, we can do this because 10 1's are the same as one of these 10 blocks. Let's start over and count our 1's again. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we put the number 6 down here under the 1's. Now we can count our 10's. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 10's. We can put the number 7 under the 10's place. 47 plus 29 should equal 76. We can double check our work by looking at it the way we did before. If we look at the problem, we see that 7 plus 9 is 6. Wait, is that correct? No, 7 plus 9 is 16. But do you remember what we had to do when we counted out the 10 ones? We used our regrouping skills and traded the 10 ones for one of the blocks of 10. So we need to look at our 10 spot and put a 1 right here, because we had to trade the ones for one 10. So if we add the 10s column, we get 1 plus 4 plus 2. What does that equal? It equals 7. So 47 plus 29 equals 76. Great job! You guys are awesome! 
Remember that you will get better at this when you practice. So keep on practicing, keep learning, and we will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Please share the video and subscribe.